Hello and welcome you guys to my new video. In this awesome video you will learn, in my opinion it's the most awesome thing that one could learn. It's the Taylor series, okay? Now what is the Taylor series? Well Taylor, and actually it was not only Taylor, many mathematicians knew this before, was that a function in X could be rewritten in this way, okay? It could be rewritten as 0x to the 0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus and continue a n x n and go to infinity. Now what does this mean? Okay, Actually this doesn't work for all functions in x. It only works for special functions that are infinitely often differentiable and continuously differentiable. Okay, If you can differentiate that actually if, if a function is um, differentiable infinitely times it is also continuous all the time. Okay, now we have this. Now you could ask yourself, okay, why can I, why did he start off with this? And actually the idea is simple. What Taylor did was he said, okay, let's take this function and I'm writing this as a sum expression because it's just easier. I'm starting off with a i x to the i. i is the index which starts at zero and goes to infinity. What Taylor thought of was, okay, if I want to find this kind of expression, I need to find these coefficients, okay? These are the important parts. What he said was, okay, let's just plug in zero, okay? What will I, so actually this is not the Taylor series, it's the Maclaurin series, but I will show you how to go to Taylor very, very fast. What he said was, let's look what happens for f equals zero. What will happen here on the right hand side is you will get zeros. Uh, I actually go back to this. Only here, actually you can just erase this out. Only all these parts will vanish and only a zero stay. Okay. Wow. This is interesting. Now, I found out a0 by just plugging in fx equals 0. Now, how can I find the other parts? And Taylor had a nice idea. What he did was he just said, okay, let's just differentiate that function here. And if I differentiate this, I could also differentiate this. And what would happen is if you differentiate a constant term, it will be 0. Here you will get, as this is a power, 1 times a1 x to the 1 plus 2 times a2 x1 sorry this is x0 and so forth now he said okay nice what I got now is I just deleted this part with the x because this is again 1 okay it's actually 1 and what will happen is we have 1 times a1 times 1 so if you calculate or evaluate for x equals 0, what you will get is a1. Oh, well, this is nice. Let's just try it another time. We just differentiate the function two times. Now, uh, if you would just do this, I just had this, and you just differentiate it again. What you will get is, this will be still 0, it doesn't matter anymore. This is a constant part. This will become 0. Here you will get 2a2. This will become 1. And here it goes further. But it doesn't matter. If we evaluate an x equals 0, we, what will we get? We get 2a2. Okay? Now I'm doing a little, little thing. I'm using another paper. And if, if you looked at this, what we found out was, I will actually write this down like this, if we take the nth derivative of a function and evaluate it in the x value, what we will get is, so you could just do this by hand here, you will get n faculty a n. But this is an awesome part, this is an awesome thing. Okay, you, one could rewrite this as this way. You maybe know this, and evaluating in x can be re rewritten as 0 is equal to n faculty over a n. But this gives you a n equals f 
and zero and and faculty wow this is astonishing okay this is a very you should be amazed of this so what we found out is that the function of x can be evaluated as a n x to the n n equals zero to infinity and what you see here what is important is that is differentiable if your function would not be differentiable you could not calculate the nth derivative of that can be rewritten in this way n equals zero to infinity wow this concludes this lecture okay just keep this on your tongue and we will see in the next lectures what this actually means okay so we found out that the function f of x can be rewritten this way that we take the nth derivative okay and the point and evaluate in point zero divided by n faculty and x to the n multiply it with x to the n and sum this infinitely often you will get out uh, end up with f of x now why is this important we'll see in the next lecture